Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another Eagle Forum Capitol Hill update. I'm Tabitha Walter, the political director of Eagle Forum. And I'm Kirsten Hassler, the executive director. In just seven months, we will elect a new Congress. There seems to be a bipartisan consensus that Republicans are almost certain to take over the House of Representatives. But right now, during primary season, you have the ability to ensure that we elect solid conservatives. That's right. We need to elect candidates who will fight for American families and not compromise their beliefs just to be liked in Washington, D.C. This is why our beloved founder, Phyllis Schlafly, was one of the first conservatives to establish a political action committee. Phyllis's best-selling book, A Choice, Not an Echo, described how a few wealthy elites, whom she called kingmakers, dictated, then controlled the Republican Party's nominees with their wealth and power, leaving conservative voters without a voice. Phyllis established the Eagle Forum Political Action Committee, also known as the PAC, to fight back against the elitist kingmakers and to elect candidates who are beholden to principle, not wealthy special interests. Currently, we are vetting candidates who are running for the U.S. House and Senate. Each candidate under consideration must complete our extensive questionnaire and have a personal interview with one of Eagle Forum's leaders. If the candidate is an incumbent, they must have a conservative voting record as reflected by our scoreboard, and they must distinguish themselves as leaders, not just good voters. We cannot endorse in every single race, but we engage in extensive analysis with our Washington, D.C. staff and our state Eagle Forum activists. We are honored to announce our first round of Eagle Forum PAC endorsed candidates. They are Paul Sanford from Alabama District 5, Susie Voiles from Georgia District 8, Keith Self from Texas District 3, and Heidi St. John from Washington District 3. While our committee is very selective before primary races, these candidates stood out among the competition. Each has very different backgrounds and experiences to bring to the table. Sanford is a businessman. Boyles is the Georgia state leader for Eagle Forum. Self is a veteran and county judge. And St. John is a business owner. Eagle Forum PAC has also endorsed House incumbents Mary Miller of Illinois 15 and Alex Mooney of West Virginia 2. Representative Miller has tirelessly advocated for women over the last year, and House Democrats have continuously passed legislation that would allow men in women's private spaces and take over girls' sports. As soon as she stepped into the halls of Congress, she introduced the Safety and Opportunity for Girls Act, or H.R. 1417 to protect girls. She stated, quote, Democrats continue to push radical gender ideology on our children, and we must draw the line to protect women and girls. I want to make it clear that the definition of sex in Title IX means biological sex, not gender identity. My goal is to protect spaces like bathrooms, locker rooms, and sports teams for women like my five daughters and so many others across the country, end quote. Her colleague, Representative Mooney, is also taking a stand against the radical leftist agenda. He joined the Freedom Caucus seven years ago and has a solid conservative voting record. Because of the 2020 census results, West Virginia lost one congressional seat, placing 11-year incumbent Representative David McKinley from West Virginia District 1 in Representative Mooney's race. While both candidates are pro-life, defenders of the Constitution and tough on immigration, Representative McKinley has cast some questionable votes this year. His vote for the infrastructure package placed his state in the pocket of the Biden administration. West Virginia's industry has been ravaged repeatedly by the heavy hand of the federal government. Representative McKinley invited them back in. Therefore, Representative Mooney is the only candidate in his race who will be a voice for the people of his district. Eagle Forum PAC is just getting started. We have also endorsed Representative Mo Brooks of Alabama and Nathan Dom of Oklahoma and Senator Mike Lee of Utah for U.S. Senator and Governor Ron DeSantis for Governor of Florida. We will continue to monitor various races across the nation and endorse more candidates as we see necessary. If you would like your candidate to have an endorsement from Eagle Forum PAC, please send them our questionnaire. You can help these candidates win by making a monetary contribution, volunteer for their campaign or sharing their Eagle Forum PAC endorsement. You can find all that information on our website at eagleforum.org. And while you're there, sign up for our emails and alerts. 
Thank you so much for listening. From your house to the state house to the White House, this is Engage with Eagle Forum.